Howdy guys, how's it going? So we are back here at our uh, ultralight hot tent. Uh, now I was planning on coming out and camping at this thing again uh, a few days back, but we had some very unusually warm weather and we had a rain shower come through and I wanted to spend the night in this thing and you know, nice cold, even, you know, sleet, ice, rain. But the temperature got uh, up in the low 70s. The lows at night was in the low 50s. So that was just, you know, that's not an option with a hot tent, uh, being able to uh, actually enjoy it. But the tent has stayed up in its location. It went through some heavy rain, some heavy winds, uh, and coming back to it today, other than to adjust where the material stretched out a bit, it done great. There's no signs of water on or in the gear that I'd left down here. I left the cot, sleeping pad, uh, the puffalo inside the remote dry bag, some cooking stuff. Uh, and my wool, uh, my Lester River Bushcraft wool anorak inside that black roll top uh, dry bag backpack. Everything's good. The thing that I was worried about the most was that kink in the pipe from where I stepped on that uh, guy outline and it crinkled. But I got to say, it's still doing fine. Just showed like a little bit of, uh, you know, where like it's kind of tried to unfold a bit but it, it's still holding up strong. And then once I take this thing fully down, roll it out and re-flatten it, I think uh, it'll be good as new. But yeah, I just took, I've been, I took and left the, uh, the saw here as well and processed a bit more wood. It's only gonna get down to about 39, 40 degrees tonight. So I'm gonna be using that woolly mammoth wool blanket along with a poncho liner for our sleep system. Gets down into the you know mid low 40s uh, tonight. We'll get the wood stove going and uh, be trying out a new dehydrated meal as well. So I'm gonna take care of just the little odds and ends stuff that we uh, you know done in the last video before we started to get settled in. Only got about an hour of sunlight left. And if you've not seen the previous video, uh, I will link it down below. It may be even on the screen somewhere. It's definitely cooling off. So I left uh, this hybrid light lantern down here. It still, you know, seems to be going strong. You can get it on high, and then it kind of wants to flicker back down to medium. Where this is strictly, you know, a 360-degree lantern, it doesn't really give us a lot of light over on that side. So I've got a different one here. This is a uh, some bless uh, bivy light. And this one, it has a remote and everything, so I can hang it up and, you know, turn it on and off from laying in my sleeping position. Uh, it's also magnetic. I could even put this magnetic strip on the outside of the tent. Take this through where this material is so thin and uh, put it wherever I want it. But this has white, high white, then red, high red, green, high green, and then that right there is just the battery lights. I could hang it from any of these uh, little points here, but here's the uh, piece of metal that it comes with, and the magnet is on the uh, this strip of the light itself. Oh wow, that actually looks really cool. And then with the remote here, I can just hit the power button. And I can cycle between all the things from bed, and this will help a lot with filming.
So I got my tea right here steeping. And I believe for that amount of water, it's where we want it. And we are just going to make the flavor pop off by adding some uh, tin cup to it. And uh, I think it's really cool that this company is uh, so, you know, outdoor focused um, and, you know, into promoting uh, outdoor activities such as this. And they even come out with like a special adventure bottle uh, for their product that you don't have to worry about breaking. So cheers to them. And that right there is a very good cup of tea. And yeah, man, it is an absolutely beautiful night. There's not a cloud in the sky uh, right now. It's very, very still, very calm. Uh, there's no way I can really get it to show up on video. But uh, I just took a picture of, uh, of the sky, you know, like here with little to no light pollution whatsoever. You can uh, really, you know, take in the, the stargazing. So I'll, I'll throw that picture up on the screen for you. But yeah, I'm just chilling here by the wood stove. The temp is dropping. I, you know, just having this jacket on, unzipped, pretty comfortable. Um, I, I mean, I'd be fine even if I took this off. I'm just kind of moving around, still going in and outside doing different things. So that's why I got it on. But as soon as you close these doors, you'd have to shed down to uh, down to your base layer. Like, I don't have on any type of thermals. Just my pants, shirt, and then this jacket. And yeah, I've got some new freeze-dried food from Adventure Well Outdoors. Uh, I brought all three menus that I have because I didn't know what I'd be in the mood for. Um, but we'll be trying that for the very first time. I think Mimi's Chicken uh, Tangin, Tangini, I don't, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I think that's how you pronounce it. But uh, we'll get some water boiling for that here in a short bit and give that a go. Boom. Okay, so here are the new meals. Now, I've got three of them. Once again, they are from uh, Adventure Whale Outdoors. And we have got unstuffed pepper soup. We've got Poppy's Carne uh, Guzada. And then we got Mimi's Chicken Tagine, Tagine, however, I don't know how these things are meant to be pronounced. But anyways, they sound good. Uh, they're really lightweight, uh, if it's important to you. They're keto-friendly. So it says pour 8 to 10 ounces of boiling water. So we got to get some water on the bowl, and we're just going to kind of slowly add water uh, till we get the consistency that uh, I'm looking for. I'm going to go ahead and remove the old oxygen absorber. This thing's got a nice wide gusset on the bottom, which is really nice. And that right there is what is on the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of break this up a bit. That way, them large pieces will, dehyd uh, will rehydrate a bit better. So we got it a little bit more crumbly now. So we just wait on our water. So our water is up to a bowl where we want it. So yeah, I actually took my spoon this time and uh, put it in one of my cargo pockets. That way I made sure I didn't forget it because with these types of meals, you need your long handled spoon. I like too with this one they have slanted 
corners so that like you don't end up having dried bits getting stuck in a tight crevice make sure everything's broke up and we'll close it and if we need to add any more to it we can Well, guys, the only thing left to do now is give her a taste. It looks like it rehydrated very well. I think, so, in milliliters, I did right at 300 mils of water. Oh, yeah. That rehydrated perfectly. So I got my little spice thing. I'm going to put a little bit of black pepper. But this would be phenomenal with hot sauce. And if you just want to carry some hot sauce or even some hot sauce powder with you. Um, but uh, if, I get this, <clears throat> if I get this one again, I'm actually going to bring along a Mexican blend of cheese and hot sauce. And right as it's like in midway of rehydrating, put that cheese in there. And this will be next level. Mm. So first at Venture Well Meal. I like it. Well guys, I am going to down this and then get things moved around and situated and we're going to hit the hay because it's starting to get a bit windy. So I want to get my sleeping area nice and warmed up we got a very thick bed of coals in the wood stove we're gonna be good to go take the old holster off which this is a new holster that i'm trying for inside the waistband carry uh, from falco holsters it's the same company that makes the uh, the drop leg that i've been wearing um but i noticed that they made these hybrids it's leather and kydex and so far really digging it so it's just gonna go right there where our side pouch with their light remote is uh since i have a bad habit kicking my feet out from underneath the covers whenever i'm doing a fold over style uh blanket sleep system like this i'm gonna leave my boots on uh, my feet are completely dry they're not sweaty uh so it's just better and easier and then don't have to worry about waking up with cold feet normally if I'm using a wool blanket I like doing the diamond method to fold over and you kind of lock your feet in uh, but I don't want to deal with large wings or anything in my blanket potentially hitting the stove even though wool is naturally fire retardant it's just better not to chance it and right now I'm just going to rock with the uh, the wooby. I tied the middle and the foot in. Um, oh yeah, man, that meal was super nice. Having like warm food in the belly, laying down, heated shelter. That's right. It's, this type of camping will spoil you real quick. Oh, well, anyways, guys, I'm going to utilize this little remote here. Turn this light off. If I can find the right button. And I will see y'all beautiful people in the morning. Good morning, guys. How's it going? <clears throat> well, that was a very cozy night's sleep. And uh, I'm happy to say that the uh, the poncho liner and this wool blanket work perfectly together. Um, I mean, I've done this before with, you know, different uh, wool blankets. The woobies are pretty much consistent across the board. Um, 
with this woolly mammoth will like it very, very well. With this standard type of um, poncho liner, I'd say this morning, uh, it's been light just for a little bit now, uh, and where the sun is kind of clouded over a bit, but the sun was shining a bit on the uh, fabric of the tent. So it warmed up a bit. It's probably about 42 to 44 degrees in here uh, right now, if not slightly warmer. Um, so at its coldest, I think it got down to 39 or 40. The uh, the wood stove going, and uh, I mean there was definitely times where I just kind of threw this part of the wool blanket off. <sighs> Done that since we uh, slip with our boots on, we had no worries of uh, you know our feet getting cold. This thing is still holding up strong. I mean I still got uh, that amount of wood, and then just a couple pieces still over on that side. Uh, but we might just toss them over at the edge of. Uh, this clear in here and have them for later because I probably will be taking the tent down soon. I hate that I hadn't got to spend the night in this in the rain, but with the forecast showing what it is for the next few weeks, I, I'm gonna, I gotta work on other projects. But but, but yeah, guys, that is, uh, that's gonna do it for this one. So as always, I really appreciate you taking time to watch the video. Uh, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share the channel with your friends, family, anybody that enjoys good old outdoor activities. There are birds just right outside the door, bro. Um, and uh, if you're interested in any of the gear and stuff that I've used uh, in this video, uh, I try to put everything that's still available down in the description box of the video. So go check that link out. And then uh, something I might add is also make sure you follow me on Instagram uh, and just any of the other socials that are uh, linked uh, or that you're active on. So... Till the next one, guys. Adios.